How to set up automations on MailerLite. Now to get started head over to automations and click on new automation. And if you don't already know, automations will basically work as automatic workflows for your email subscribers where you can set a trigger and after that you can send out emails, you can do some promotion and so on, which we are all going to cover. So you can actually use some of these templates, which can be useful, however, to get you guys the best idea on how uh, automations work, I will just start from scratch and I will name this Keto Diet uh, Automation. Alright, now the first step is setting up a trigger for a workflow or also called automation. Now you will see me switching the words workflow and automations a lot. Now they are basically the same thing, workflow equals automation, okay? So we will have to set up a workflow trigger, which you can set on the right. So you can, for example, set the trigger as when subscriber joins group, when, some, when subscriber completes form, when subscriber clicks a link, or you can also do some other steps right here, which most of the time you won't really use. So I like to either use this when subscriber joins, uh, joins group. So for example, the keto diet group, that could be a trigger for our workflow. But one other thing which can also be useful is the when subscriber completes form. So we have made a funnel as well as a pop-up earlier and we can now, for example, select a funnel and now this workflow only gets triggered when someone actually put in, puts in their email in the funnel we've created. You can also set multiple triggers, which we're not going to do right now. And you can also allow subscribers to repeat the workflow to basically run the whole workflow all over again. If you want to, I will just untick this for now. Right now, the first thing that I always do is sending out a thank you for subscribing email. So we are going to add a next step onto, your, onto, onto our workflow and I'm going to select email. Then we are going to select a name for our email. I'm going to name this um, thank you for subscribing. And then we can set a subject and we can also do some personalization. Let me show you how. So we're going, to, so let's for example say that we want to make the subject hey and then the name of the person that this email gets sent out to because if you remember we are actually asking for the name in the funnel so we have that information so i'm going to type in hey uh, and then i'm going to say thank you for subscribing now we now want to replace this and we want to insert personalization in this case name so as you can see i will just delete the name that i've made earlier and then we can uh, then we have our own customization we can also select the sender, so I'm just going to type in Elias, the sender email, and now we can also design our email content, which I will show you how to. We can either use the drag and drop editor, which you can use to build up your email from scratch, and right there you can also add buttons, add images, and but you can also use the rich text editor, which will basically just work as a normal text email, and also a custom HTML editor, if that's, what, if that's something you want to go for. However, for this video, I think it's, it makes the most sense to cover the drag and drop editor. Um, so I'm going to select that. All right, now right away, you can see right here we have our email. On the left, we have different kind of blocks that we can add onto our email. And on the right, we have the settings for certain elements. We can right here also set the default field template settings. So for example, I'm going to change the, the font to Poppins, as I really like Poppins. Uh, we can also set content settings, button settings, and footer settings if we want to. For example, we can change the button style, we can change the button right here, and we can then go over to the button settings and change that. As you can see, the button is actually changing. Now to get started, I will quickly delete all of the elements so that we can truly start from scratch. All right, and now we can get started dragging in our blocks from the left. So for example, let me add a logo and a title, and I'm go quickly going to change the logo. Um, so I'm just going to upload mine. And then we can also change the heading right here. So I'm go just going to name this, thank you for subscribing. And if you want to, we can also make this, uh, this heading clickable and we can then enter a uh, URL right here. However, I will, I will not do that. We can also add a subtitle if that's something you want to go for. And as always, we can change the settings right here. So we can, for example, change the padding and we can also change elements like logo alignment or we can also make or we can also change the logo width and we can also make this height on mobile we can also change the color of the headline subtitle and background however i will just leave this as it is 
Now you can basically use all of these blocks right here and you can also sort these blocks out. So for example, I now want to add a content block. So I'm going to maybe use this one right here and I can now just drag it onto my email. So I'm going to change this to, it is an honor to have you on my newsletter. Now obviously this is just an example, right? We can also change the, the underline text right here and we can also change the button if we want to. So right here we can then input a URL. Now I'm actually just going to delete this button as I don't think it's necessary. And I'm actually going to change the background image right here. And as you can see, now we have our own custom background. We can also add some other things. For example, let's say that we want to add a feature section, then we can also do that right here. So maybe we can uh, list all the features of our newsletter right here if you want to. You basically have all these different options, but one thing which is really important to not forget is to add a footer. So you can choose any of these four footers, but it is really important to uh, actually use one because this will have all your crucial features like address for example and also the I want to unsubscribe option right here which is mandatory by law. Now you can actually also update the logo from this email which I'm just quickly going to do. I'm just going to upload mine. Right and as you can see now we have our own custom logo. Now at its core that's basically how it works. So once you're done setting up your own email you can click on done editing on the top right. And as you can see, now whenever someone is going to put in their email and name onto our funnel, this thank you for subscribing email is automatically going to be sent out. Now let's for example say that I now want to wait for one day until I send my next email out. So to do that, we will once again have to click on plus and then we will have to select delay and now we can wait for one day. All right, bear with me guys. Let's for example say that after one day, I now want to send out a second email promoting some kind of keto diet planner, for example, to all of those people that actually have opened my thank you for subscribing email. So to do that, we will have to add a condition right here. And right here, we can then set that exact condition under workflow activity. So we'll select workflow activity. Then I'm going to select the email that we've created beforehand. And now I'm going to select uh, was opened. You also have tons of different options right here. As you can see, you can even do some custom fields. You can also do some other workflow activity or you can also do some um, campaign activity, which you can also do. However, we're not going to go into that right now. Then click on save. And as you can see, now we have two unique paths. So basically this whole workflow is going to be on pause until the person actually opens the thank you for subscribing email. All right, but now we want to send out a second email, which we can do by selecting email, email right here. And then we will have to once again define our email content. So I'm going to name this Keto Meal Plan Promotion. Because in this video, we're actually going to promote our own Keto Meal Plan done for you. And this is just to get you guys some practice, okay? Then we will have to set the email subject. So I'm going to first of all insert personalization. I'm going to select the name. And then I'm going to write, do you want to get a done for you key to meal plan? And then we will have to once again um, type, in, type in the sender and the sender email as well. And then we can design our email. Now you basically already know how this works. So we'll just quickly speed up this process. All right, as you can see, I'm now finished. I've just made a super simple uh, email. I've, I've added some text right here. I've also obviously added my logo on the top. And then I've also added a, a timer to basically create a FOMO, a fear of missing out. So basically to get more people buying. Then I've also added this text and picture section right here. And I've also added a quick display of our product. And now whenever someone is going to click on any of these buttons, they obviously would be then redirected to our own keto meal planner in this case as an example. One other thing which I want to mention are custom fields and this is actually super important. So let's for example say that I want to add a custom field. I like to call them tags to everyone that clicked on the button link. So basically everyone that already 
got introduced to a product, I now want to add a tag to that person so that I can afterwards evaluate if I want to send out more emails to that person or not. So to do that, you will have to click on add field, then condition. Right here, we can then set the condition uh, for the keto meal plan promotion, obviously for this email, that that person had a specific link clicked. In our case, this would be URL because I didn't actually put in a link. But for you guys, this is going to show up as your own custom link that you have put that you have input uh, into your button. Okay, so then click save. All right, and now on the left, we can then add an action. And as for the action, I want I want to update a custom field. And now I want to add the field. I like to call them tags if, as I think that that makes more sense. I now want to add the tag that that person already got introduced to our product, which I can do by clicking on create new right here. And as for the input, I'm going to select text. And as for the field name, I'm going to name this already knows about our offer. Then I'm going to click save. And as for the value, I'm going to type in yes. Right, and now all the people that have clicked onto our buttons uh, have this custom field attached to them. Right, and now once again, our automation got actually split in half. So what we now want to do, we now want to somehow get the people from the right side onto the left side. So we now want to get people to click onto our website basically, which we can do by obviously sending out more emails, promoting a product so that we can basically continue our workflow on the left. So to do that, I will once again set up a delay. It is really important to not spam all of your contacts and, and, and not to send out 10 emails per day. Generally, you want to wait around one day or sometimes it also makes sense to wait for three days, for example. And then I'm actually going to set up split testing. This is super important. This is called A-B testing. And this will basically allow you to design two different emails that will basically just have the same content, but they will be designed differently. And you can then track how much people have clicked onto your email and how much people have clicked onto the button on the one email compared to the other email. So to do that, you can first of all select the distribute traffic slider right here. So if you maybe want to send out some, some more people to the, to the B email, then you would just have to drag this around. So as you can, as you can see now, only 20% of the traffic actually will get to the A funnel right here. As you can see, uh, we can now define our email content right here. And right here, we can then set the email content for the other path. Now, we'll not actually design these emails as I think by now you will get the hang of it. But basically, we can now once again add the action button right here. And we can now add the action update custom field. We're going to select the already knows about our offer field to yes.